Hey, how's it going? It's Ethan with HustlePaintball.com and today I've got the Tiberius FSR adjustable riser that we're going to review. FSR stands for First Strike Ready and this is one of a few very cool products that Tiberius has released specifically for their First Strike Ready pistols and rifles. But this particular guy is extremely useful for anyone who uses a red dot or any sort of optics or sights and they've got a Weaver or Picatinny equipped paintball gun. Why don't we bring the camera in a little bit closer and tell you all about this. I'm gonna take it outside and I'll show you how well it works. The FSR adjustable riser has a long Weaver and Picatinny rail on top, as well as slightly shorter ones on both sides, making it effectively an adjustable tri-rail. It's got two very sturdy, burly thumb screws, so you can lock this down onto any Weaver or Picatinny equipped paintball gun. The cool thing about it is that you can, of course, use just your fingers to tighten it down, or you can use a socket or fixed or even a crescent wrench to really crank these down once you've got this set. If you don't want this puppy going anywhere, that's the way to do it. Now it's an adjustable riser. As you can see, it is a riser for your sights or optics, and it's adjustable using the wheels, which are located on both sides, you can very easily change the tilt of this rail. Most red dots are not designed for paintball guns, so they don't have a large amount of elevation adjustability. This fixes that. The cool thing about these adjustment wheels is that they're both tactile and audible, meaning that you can feel in here each click. Now, unlike other products that have been out a little bit longer, the Tiberius FSR adjustable riser actually did it right. Because other products, you'd loosen a set screw, kind of adjust the rail somewhat ambiguously to what you thought it'd be, tighten it back down. With this guy, when you're switching between 68 caliber and first strike rounds, or just a closer and a farther distance away, you can adjust it, count how many clicks you hear and feel, and then when you go back to the, uh, the previous adjustment, it's real easy. Hey, I took it down five, let's bring it back five. Rather than let's loosen this, kind of move it, and hope I, hope I nailed it when I readjusted it back. Now it's just about time to go outside and do our shooting demo. We've got the Empire Tracer, which is one of our new favorite toys, a Gorilla 13 cubic inch, 3000 PSI compressed air tank, and of course, the Tiberius FSR adjustable riser. The one downside, and it's kind of to be expected due to its size, is that it's a little heavy, 1.2 pounds. But if you're serious about getting your accuracy dialed in, it's no problem. So since we're doing a super legit shooting demo, we figured we'd put on a super legit red dot. We've got a genuine Aimpoint Comp M4 red dot sight. So it's definitely not the red dot that's gonna be holding us back. Let's see how well this guy performs. All right, here we go. We're gonna be shooting at the red pole back there. What I've got, I've got the adjustable sight rail completely level. I'm gonna shoot it, and then we're gonna adjust it so the red dot is in line with where my paint's actually going. We're gonna be using 68 caliber paintballs, not first strike rounds. Okay, we're gonna try something a little challenging. However, this will give you the best view of what's going on. We're gonna shoot, you're gonna see the red dot and the paint, and then we're gonna to adjust to compensate. Not surprisingly, the paint hit a little bit low of where the red dot did. So I'm gonna click down the ASR about six or eight clicks. I'm gonna pick a new point on the pole so we have a clean surface to work with. Well, I adjusted it too far. Just a couple clicks. And give it another shot. Now for added difficulty, I'm gonna do this shot left-handed. That was cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's like you're cheating. That is too easy. 
All right, so you guys saw the demo. That was super fun. It was so easy to get it adjusted in perfectly. I mean, that sort of accuracy with the red dot and paintball, usually just you can't get that sort of thing because you don't have that uh, sort of adjustability. But you saw how awesome it was. A couple clicks, right on, We're shooting left-handed. In fact, we had so much fun, we called everyone out. We were shooting dandelion heads and, and a little rebar. I mean, it was disgusting. So this thing, especially if you have first strike rounds, just back it up a couple notches, shoot your first strike round, get your kill, go down when you switch back to 68 caliber, this thing is just disgusting. You can put it on any paintball gun with Weaver or Picatinny rails. This thing, I can't say enough good things about this. We've been having a lot of fun uh, just screwing around with it. So if you have any questions, just email us at videos at hustlepaintball.com. Of course, check out our website for this and any other products you need. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, read our blog, and of course, subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. Da 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 da